there is something quite stunning about the lushness of Uganda's national parks. Combined with what can only be described as spectacular landscapes, this country provides quite the setting for some of Africa's most memorable visitor experiences. Ten national parks, hundreds of plant and animal species, hundreds and thousands of personal moments. Uganda, despite being only about 0.1% of the landmass of the world, has 17% of its biodiversity. Growing up in such a country and uh, knowing how blessed we are, I think it's a duty that we offer our knowledge, we offer our service to make sure that the generations that will come long after us experience what we have experienced in our lifetime. Um, I feel like at the moment my eyes are seeing things but it's going to take me even weeks or months before I even begin to process how much of an amazing experience it's been because I just see so much like today we saw elephants, we saw baboons, we saw everything and that was within 10 minutes of just driving down the road. We saw about five different species of animals that I thought I'd have to safari for ages and spend you know, loads of money to see and that was just driving down one road, we saw that. So at the moment I just feel really lucky. Sitting on over 3,000 square kilometers, Bwindi Impenetrable National Park is home to half of the world's mountain gorillas. As part of the same ecosystem that the Mgahinga Gorilla National Park belongs to, this impenetrable forest is also the oldest and most biologically diverse rainforest in the world. There are over 400 plant species. The forest protects at least 120 mammal species, 346 species of birds, 202 species of butterflies, 163 species of trees, 100 species of ferns, 27 species of frogs, chameleons, geckos, and a whole host of other interesting and endangered species.
I like seeing you know the way they're like humans I like seeing the way the males behave quite a lot like human males and the females behave just the same like with their babies they cuddle them just like that the men they're kind of they're flexing trying to show like every movement they do is like testosterone charged <laughs> so and they even make some sounds that sound like humans when you hear them say eh, eh. <laughs> when there's no more diseases killing gorillas we think the future for gorillas is bright and sustainable I'm looking forward to seeing the animals because um, in photos I've only seen them and I'm really excited to see a proper one because I can see it from here over there but I can't see the actual real like up front of the Because of its diverse ecosystems, savannah, shady humid forests, sparkling lakes and fertile wetlands, the Queen Elizabeth National Park is Uganda's most popular tourist destination. Aside from its fascinating heritage, the park has the jagged Renzori Mountains as a backdrop. And there are dozens of enormous craters carved dramatically into rolling green hills. Just a little over 371 square kilometers, Lake Mburu National Park hosts a medley of habitats. Dry hillsides, rocky outcrops, bushy thickets, open and wooded savannas, forest, lakes and swamps. Its sculpted landscape Rolling hills and idyllic lake shores support a wildlife treasure trove, remarkably different from all other parks because of the gigantic eland, impala, zebras, and acacia-associated birds. We emphasize customer care and visitor satisfaction. So in terms of accommodation, in terms of visitor service provision, in terms of visitor uh, handling, we Try and do our best. The five lakes within the park attract hippos and crocodiles and of course an impressive 332 bird species. A wilderness park, dry, hot, and isolated, yet spectacular, magnificent, and virgin, waiting to be discovered.
uh, there are many many areas you can go and see animals you see different species in some areas but Kidepo Valley National Park has the unique species of wildlife we have about 86 species of mammals one of them you can see but out of the 86 species 28 are only found in Kidepo here You need to be here, Karen. You need to see this park, the elephants, the herds of elephants, the buffalo. You'd, you'd love it. You'd absolutely love it. It's just special. It's raw. It's untouched. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place to be. Beautiful place to be. I can't, I can't, I couldn't explain it. I just, you have to see it for yourself. Lying at the northern end of the Albertine Rift Valley, Murchison Falls National Park is Uganda's largest and oldest conservation area. One of the most remarkable things about this park is its centerpiece, the Murchison Falls. These are the final event of an 80 kilometer river Nile stretch of rapids and falls and twists and bends. At the Murchison Falls, the Victoria Nile squeezes through an eight meter wide gorge, plunging with a thunderous roll into the Devil's Cauldron. This mighty cascade drains the last of the river's energy, transforming it into a broad, placid stream that flows quietly across the river floor into Lake Albert. Valley National Park is an exceptional because uh, uh, first of it is a forested park so the biggest percentage of it is only trees.
my best stories about to the chimpanzees, uh, where most of, it, of the chimpanzee behavior is related to human behavior, whereby I have liked the way the chimpanzees punish uh, some individuals in the case one makes uh, a mistake. I have seen a chimpanzee, that's the baby, screaming for the mother to come down the tree, but the mother was not willing to come down immediately. And uh, what the baby da did was screaming louder, so the males came in, but later the males punished the female for having not quickly responded to the call of the baby. Semuliki National Park sprawls across the floor of the Semuliki Valley on the remote western side of the Ruwenzori. On a trail that leads through a forest patch where red-tailed monkeys, grey-cheeked manga bays and black and white colobus monkeys suspiciously watch over you, it will take you about an hour to take the trail from here to the outer male spring. <laughs> 